Allow people to have their own opinions. And if they don't agree with you, that's okay. Hey guys, it's Terry. Happy relationship reading. We have a relationship reading for the weekend of January 21st to the 24th. Just remember this is a reading for the collective. So just take what information does resonate with you, toss what doesn't. If you want something more personal, more private, please feel free to reach out to me and you can book one directly from my site, terryhuberman.com. This is a very interesting weekend. Actually, it feels like the entire week, not just the weekend, but yes, the, the weekend. I don't know, well, I'm sure. I shouldn't say I don't know. Those of you who connect with me, resonate with me, uh, engage with me, watch me, follow me, all the things, you guys know that you're here to help uplift and help humanity through these consciousness changes. And that's what's happening. There's a consciousness change in humanity. Earth, Mother Earth herself is going through a consciousness change. And whenever there are consciousness changes, there's energy shifts, right? And the thing about being human is humanity, one of the big things about humanity is remembering the essence of who we are through relationship and in relationship with other humans. You hear what I'm saying? With other humans. So this reading is for everyone. This is for anybody who engages or who talks to or enmeshes with or connects to another human being. Like if you're like a lone wolf, I doubt you even know about me. I would be surprised. I would honestly be surprised. But if that's the case, you're more than welcome. I guarantee you, you won't be alone <laughs> for much longer. Uh, but I do wanna say that um, this is for everyone. Everyone who relates to each other, anybody who talks to anybody else, anybody who, you guys get the idea. Humans right now are just mean, plain old mean. And so this is like a heads up buttercup kind of weekend because I feel like it's like a mean girls weekend, even if you're not a girl or you're not feminine. It's like this really clicky, gross, feeling in terms of relationships with other people. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat and I'm not gonna bullshit. People are angry at each other. People are mean to each other. People are belittling each other. This is not what real humanity is about. Real humanity is about connection and unification. All this mean talk and this belittling and all of this stuff, it's separating. And that's what humans are not supposed to be, separated. So when I was asking my team, like, what's going on here? You know, they were just saying this has to happen. There's divine guidance in this. And so what they're saying is really, like, if you really want to heal this and you really want to get on with things instead of dwell in these really low dense frequencies, allow people to have their own opinions. And if they don't agree with you, that's okay, because that's unifying. You don't put someone down. They're saying, stop being mean to each other. So I keep saying mean girls. Meanie, you're meanie. Not you, but I'm just saying, you know. It is so divisive. And you know what? This is not even a political thing anymore. This is where people, at least in the US, people are really showing their true colors, but really it's not so much their true colors. What they're showing is where they need healing in their lives. So this weekend is really about, hopefully, you allowing yourself to get into and onto the reality of what's happening, which is change. And the sooner you get on to that timeline, the better. Um, they're saying that if you're on the receiving end of being mean, or if you've been told you're wrong, or if you've been told you're stupid, or you've been name called or whatever, they're saying that it's super, super important to really get into your heart about it, which is so hard to do, right? Someone's attacking us. But 
when someone is being mean or belittling, they're coming from a place of their trauma. They're coming from a place of their hurt. So this weekend is really about understanding if you are being teased or meaned to, I don't know what I meanied. Someone was, is meaning you and you have a different opinion than them, which you're allowed to have, and you're in your own truth, but someone doesn't see your truth as real or valid, it's important not to take it personal. It's important to take this into your heart and really show compassion. Oh my God, that's so hard to do. Are you serious, you guys? Ah, show compassion to the meanies. That's what this weekend is about, showing compassion to the meanies. Oh my God, I don't like this at all. <laughs> So I'm going to pull some cards, you know, just so that we can, you know, see how we can integrate what my team is saying and what the energy of the cards are saying. But, you know, if you're watching this, I'm really hoping you're not part of the meanies. You might be, and that's okay, because it just might mean that you're not working on yourself, right? And that's okay, too. It's okay. I mean, where you are is where you are, and you're okay where you are. Right? So like there's two ends of the stick. There's always two ends. There's the, the people who are being mean and then the people who are being meaned too. <laughs> right? So it's just really important for everyone to understand that people are coming from the place of their hurt. So much of what is going on in terms of this ascension, in terms of this consciousness change in humanity is just triggering people into their really hurt places and they're not liking what they're feeling they're not liking what they're experiencing and so they're acting out so if we can just have compassion for those people and really take it into our heart and just say like instead of going well i'm so mad and why can't i have my own opinion you can say wow that's hurtful they must really be angry or they must really be sad or they must really be in so much pain that they would lash out to me, their very good friend. I've been there years in their life. We have such a history and now they're being mean to me. <sighs> Try and come from a more loving place. That is how we unify, right? Okay, here we go. Card reveal, upside down, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. These are really great. Now, I'm sure you're asking, well, Terry, how do these mesh with or blend with what you just said? Well, these feel like if you can get yourself to the place of being compassionate to somebody who is being mean or belittling or name calling or, or condescending or whatever, it allows that unification and it recreates the relationship. It makes it deeper and it blossoms more. Therefore, there's a new honeymoon period, right? So this is an evol evolution and growth in the relationship. And everything can be totally okay. Sunshine, lollipops, rainbows everywhere. This is temporary. You guys, this is temporary. Granted, this temporariness may take almost 10 years, but whatever, right? We're, we're resilient. We are resilient. And the key to being resilient is getting into our heart. That's why I'm always saying, how's your heart today? So this weekend when you are dealing with other people and they're being mean to you or they're calling you names or they're bullying you, you have to understand they are acting out of, they are coming from their hurt place, which has nothing to do with you. So if you can just turn on your compassion and feel sorry for them that they haven't found that peace, they haven't been able to really help that part of themselves. Even if you have a long history with this person or a short history, that's how we can help unify instead of divide. And this has nothing to do with politics. This has to do with ethics and morals and who you are as a person, character traits. Can you still be loving and compassionate to somebody who's in pain? And can you see how you don't have to take that on yourself? All right, you guys, not an easy, not an easy weekend. I don't, you know, part of me wants to call it an alert heads up buttercup weekend. Yeah, I guess I should. Yeah, I'm going to call it a, an alert heads up buttercup weekend. <laughs> 
because this is hard stuff. I mean, being human is not easy. So this is, a, this is a way for everyone to elevate, everyone. Elevation, when we do it together, even if we're doing it differently, is unifying, unification. We are on the verge of the age of Aquarius, which is about unity, not divisiveness. And right now, so many of us are divisive and it's just gonna get louder and louder and louder. So the, the sooner and the more often we can have that compassion and just really understand and notice that people are coming from their pain, we can navigate our way in a more loving way. Uh, in a more peaceful way and in a unified way. All right, you guys? So stay connected, right? Stay connected to yourself. Stay connected to your friends and family. Of course, you can stay connected to me. And I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>